we have here is a, a ream um, two-stage uh, heat pump system and I'm going to change out the compressor. We previously had a leak in one of the feeder tubes right there so I'm uh, I'm wondering why now we have a compressor failure. Maybe it didn't shut off on low pressure. It has no low pressure switch, so it might have ran on a low charge. Um, we have an additional problem out here. If you can see the fins, um, this is what happens when someone washes a coil and they don't. They wash the coil with an acidic cleaner, and they don't wash it all the way off. The acid continues to eat out the coils. So I don't know where I have a, a leak in the system. Hopefully it's not through one of the coils, but today I'm going to change out this compressor here. Um, and that's it. This unit's only about six years old, so I will uh, start it again after we get started. What I've done first here is I've labeled the, the leads from the compressor. Uh, I probably can't see them real well. Run, start, common. Taking them off the, the, comp the compressor leads in here. Okay. And I've unbolted the feet because what I want to be able to do is uh, sweat off this fitting and pull it out. So if the compressor is loose, then I'm able to do that a lot easier. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm welded. Um, remember when you do this, it's real important to hit the fitting, not necessarily the pipe. You want to get that cell foss, that, that uh, solder in there, real, real, or brazing rod in this case. Um, real, real malleable. And then you use your channel locks to uh, get the existing pipes out of the uh, couplings there at the compressor. So uh, a lot of heat on these and they pop out relatively easy. One thing I forgot to mention previously is that you have to make sure there's no Freon refrigerant um, in the system because obviously when heating it you'll have phosgene gas. Another thing you need to always remember is make sure that the Schrader valves are removed. Um, you don't want to have excess pressure built up in the system so uh, remove the Schrader valves that way um, the pressure is relieved through the Schrader valves. So that's it. We're unbolted. I'm going to let this cool off for a second, grab a rag, and I'm going to get it out of there. It's going to be tough because I don't have much clearance between um, the base floor here and, and this uh, and this suction line. So it's going to it's going to be good times here for the next about 10-15 minutes. Bolted in. I'm getting ready to sweat it in. Fits. It, it's real important to try to get the, the matching compressor because see my my suction and liquid line matched up perfectly. So. Um, this is an exact replacement. It took me a while to get though. We had some problems with Ream shipping it and then it would be damaged in, in transit from UPS and this is a third compressor because the first two that were ordered were damaged. So this customer's been waiting a long time and it's summer. It's, it's just tough but that's part of the business. So I'm going to uh, raise this in right now and we'll go from there. Okay, got this soldered back into place now. What I'm going to do is evacuate it. Actually, I'm going to blow some nitrogen through it. Um, and then uh, put it into a vacuum and evacuate it. So, And then uh, leak check it because I still I think I have that leak. So that's where okay, it's Okay, we're looking at the ream unit again uh, for the second time. I replaced the compressor yesterday. And if you notice, this is one of the feeder tubes, the small capillary tubes. And there's a small hole right there where my finger is pointing. What had happened is these are bunched together in the unit and this rubbed against another feeder tube causing it to, uh, to uh, have a small hole in it. That's what my Freon leak was. I had repaired another uh, leak like this probably about two months ago on a different feeder tube. I had them all separated apart but I guess over time this one finally got weak and, and wore out itself. So I ha I've cut it off here but you can see where the hole is right there just about an eighth of an inch down from the end. Um, sometimes that's and now now this leak is bigger because I pumped this unit up with about 450 pounds of uh, of nitrogen with a with a small amount of 22 in there so I could leak detect it and I think I exacerbated the leak uh, the leak there because of of that high pressure so what I'm going to do is uh, repair this and I'll go through and show you how to repair it. you can't if this was one continuous tube you couldn't just solder that small hole there that leak. Because what happens is you run the risk of the of the sulfos or the brazing agent going inside the tube and clogging it. If you can see, it's a very very small diameter um, tube there, so you have to worry about the 
worry about the um, the brazing material getting inside. So there's our new compressor. It's all set. So I just have to fix this leak and get these people some cooling. I have effectively now turned this unit into the Bride of Frankenstein. I had to sleeve those uh, feeder tubes, those cap tubes, um, with uh, with quarter inch, and then I soldered the ends. You have to be real careful. The, these feeder tubes are very very thin, so rather than uh, brazing them together, they'll tend to burn. The copper will tend to burn. So I had to manipulate the feeder tubes around so I could get those two sleeves on it. In doing so, I caused another leak down here and had to re-weld this one, which was a nightmare. Um, the, the greenish, the greenish yellow uh, fluid you see on those are um, is the soap bubble, the leak detector. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't leaking. So that see that one was a nightmare to weld. So we have the feeder tubes. All the feeder tubes are, are welded up. I have put the system in a vacuum. So I'm going to go up here to the vacuum. Uh, we're holding, I took it down to about 600 microns and it's holding about 1,030 microns. And now it's been about 10, 11 minutes, so it should be fine. Um, I'm going to charge it up now with, uh, with Freon, so there we go.